So this is the fourth video in this series and the last one. We are now building the uh, the bottom diffuser here. So let's start. We need a front plane sketch, and let's draw one, uh, two actually, two straight lines, something like this. So this one is shorter. Okay, we are gonna make the center line also from the origin straight. Uh, let's make it like this narrow and that's, then connect these two points and make this coincident with the center line also and make the center line vertical. Now, this line is gonna be 260 from this line to the origin we have 370 and from this line to the top line we have 65 now this line is gonna end up in this edge so make it coincidence and we need for the ends two point spline from this point to this edge and from this edge Till this point we have 17.5 now the spline spline handles are gonna be both horizontal and the left handle distance is gonna be 150 the right one is gonna be 50 <coughs> that's the sketch done and now we're gonna extract this using surface extracts and the distance is 2250 in this direction click enter save the progress and now we need a simple trim on a top plane we're gonna draw one uh, rectangle by two points starting from this edge to the right dimensions are these here we can make like 1000 or something like that from the origin till this line we have 2003.25 and let's drag this line like this we need it on this side so 200 here and that's the sketch done. We can now trim the surfaces, so trim the front and the back. Make sure that remove selections is enabled here in the command and click OK. Now we are gonna draw a first profile for our, our diffuser or airfoil however you, you call it so we are actually gonna hide this body to be able to see this easier easily and go to right plane and make a sketch now what we are going to do is to draw two point rectangle coming from this point till this one and also we are gonna convert this edge select everything and make for construction now we need two cycles one here and another one here and this one is gonna be tangent with this edge and with this one here the same thing adding the tangency tangent relation and diameter for this one is gonna be phi 2 and this one is 7.5 let's actually make this 10 and this one 10 so we are gonna change that later and now we can draw two point spline without zooming in in, in this sketch like this so from cycle to cycle and the left handle of the spline is gonna be horizontal now make sure that the spline and this left cycle are tangents 
and drag the right handle down so that we can add angle and dimension so the angle is gonna be 30 and distance is gonna be 125 <coughs> the left handle distance is gonna be 375 now also add tangency here and let's also draw another two point spline from cycle to the cycle drag right handle and the left one is also gonna be horizontal so let's add here the angle and the distance 25 is the angle, the distance is gonna be 130 the distance for this handle is gonna be 390 now this left cycle and spline are tangent and same on this side and now let's just change these dimensions from 10 to 2 and from 10 to 7.5 so that's the first profile done we just have to extract it and selected contours we're gonna select cycle mid and cycle we're gonna go this direction and make it let's say 500 make sure not to merge results okay now we need another profile so let's unhide the body it's this one just so we can use this face to make a sketch and let's hide it again okay turn around and yeah let's also hide this body so now we need a rectangle by two points from this point to this one make it for construction and we are drawing the same thing like we did in previous sketch just different dimensions so cycle here and cycle here let's make them tangents and I'm gonna add some large diameter like 20 so that we can clearly see where we are adding these two point splines like this and let's draw the second one also now drag these handles down and make these horizontal okay we can now add the angles and distances so bottom right handle is gonna be angle of 25 and the top one is gonna be 30 just like in previous sketch just the distance is gonna be a little bit different now here we have 130 and here we have sorry here we have 125 and on left side we have top handle 400 and bottom we have 410 now let's make all these splines and cycles tangents okay and what's left is to get back this diameter to 7.5 and this one to 2 and there's the second profile we can also extract it to this side this direction and do not merge results let's hide this top surface because we are not gonna use it we're gonna use just this bottom piece 
as a guide curve for what's coming but before that we have to uh, make one 3D sketch so just a straight line coming from this point so top point on this profile and top point on this profile as you can see this line is going along X uh, axis so if you've done everything well that's how it's gonna look on your screen and in the end before we do the loft we have to make a top plane sketch and use a straight line let's actually draw from bottom so that we can see this edge here and the points and coming to this point as you can see it's also horizontal line if you did everything well it's gonna be horizontal so trim out just this small piece here so that we can use this edge as a guide curve and this is gonna be our second guide curve and yeah let's make the loft so profiles I'm gonna use face and face as you can see these green dots matched each uh, they are matched well so guide curves right click selection manager and we select this edge and this one and as a second guide curve we select the 3d sketch and make sure this is very important as you can see this is looking fine but it's very important not to merge results because we want this love to be separated body click OK and let's hide these two solid bodies we don't need them right now and let's hide also this surface now let's bring back our main body as you can see everything is almost done let's just see what's left yeah we need to mirror this body on a right plane do not merge solids and combine combine these two in one piece so it's gonna be separated piece from this separated solid body from these two and that's it so this is actually done what we can now do is to show all bodies except these that we need so let's hide DRS let's hide main body and let's hide this diffuser here so this is what is left and also show up the surface bodies so we can select everything like this and select delete okay no it's not gonna work let's go to the delete body delete body so select everything and that's it we can now bring back our bodies and yeah that's the job done now as you can see I didn't round any of these edges so I'm gonna left I'm gonna leave that to you you just don't make some two big fillets and everything is gonna be just fine like this the model is very simple but it's looking good you can paint the wing in blue because there's a Williams color and this body is gonna be something like a carbon fiber so let's find it yeah that's definitely done so I hope you made it till the end it really wasn't hard at all and yeah that's the job done uh, as update for the whole car I'm still I still haven't got started on modeling the body for this Williams F1 car I hope I'm gonna be able when I start to 
make it till the end and make you a tutorial it's gonna be one hard job just like I said but I'm sure I will make it I'll just need a lot of time so be patient and I hope that tutorial is gonna come till the end of this year so that was it for this video and I hope to see you in some some of my next tutorials bye bye